astrology can offer intriguing insights into our personal compatibility. Some zodiac signs simply don't mix well, leading to friction and resentment. Today we are diving into five zodiac pairs that, according to astrology, are best avoiding the dating game together. Let's get started and look at potential landmines in these astrological relationships. Number 1. Aries and Taurus Aries and Taurus. These are two zodiac signs with very different personalities, and therefore they are often not the best match. Let's start off by understanding the personalities of both Aries and Taurus. Aries, symbolized by the ram, are known for their fiery and dynamic disposition. They are adventurous, courageous, and often take the lead in their relationships. This fire sign likes to dive right into new experiences and isn't afraid of a challenge. They can be a bit impatient and impulsive, often acting before they think things through. On the other hand, Taurus, represented by the bull, is an earth sign and is much more grounded compared to the fiery Aries. They are known for their practicality, reliability, and their love for tranquility. Taurus is persistent and determined, which makes them incredibly hardworking. They value stability and routine, which can sometimes make them seem stubborn and resistant to change. The flamboyant nature of Aries might seem exciting to the Taurus at first, but the bull might soon grow tired of the ram's impulsiveness and constant need for adventure. A Taurus requires stability and predictability, something that the spontaneous Aries might not be able to provide. On the flip side, Aries might become bored with the slow and steady pace of the Taurus. Aries's inherent need for individuality can often lead to clashes with the more possessive Taurus. The Taurus's need for security and reassurance might feel suffocating to the independent Aries. This pair might work if both individuals can find a way to balance their differences, but more often than not, it's a difficult match. In terms of communication, too, there might be significant roadblocks. Aries is candid and direct, while Taurus might require gradual buildup and careful deliberation. This can lead to unforeseen misunderstandings between the two. So, while Aries and Taurus might be attracted to each other initially, in the long run, their contrasting personalities might create issues. Number 2. Gemini and Scorpio Gemini and Scorpio, two signs positioned almost on opposite ends of the zodiac wheel, make for an interesting pair, to say the least. But it's not necessarily a match made in astrological heaven. Gemini, an air sign, is characterized by a fun-loving, inquisitive, and versatile nature. Gemini are known as the social butterflies of the zodiac, not one to shy away from new people, places, or experiences. They're open books, they communicate effectively and value what others have to say. However, they can be inconsistent wear their hearts on their sleeves, and sometimes appear superficial. Then there's Scorpio, a water sign known for its depth, instinct, and intensity. Scorpio is passionate and emotional, often misunderstood due to their secretive and somewhat mysterious nature. Scorpio's emotional intensity can be overwhelming for some, especially Gemini, who prefers to keep things light and breezy. When a Gemini and Scorpio come together, it's like mixing water and oil, while they both have strong personalities, they display strength in different ways. Gemini's changeability might trigger Scorpio's jealousy and possessiveness, while Gemini could feel suffocated by Scorpio's intensity and seriousness. The communication, major lifeline of any relationship, also tends to be below par, mainly because Gemini prefers surface-level conversations, while Scorpio is all about deep, meaningful exchanges. Now this is not to say that Gemini and Scorpio partnerships are doomed. Astrology isn't an exact science and individual personalities can vary greatly within each sign. With understanding, compromise, and appreciation for each other's differences, any pairing can thrive. However, Gemini and Scorpio could face quite a few challenges, given their fundamental differences. Number 3. Cancer and Aquarius Cancer and Aquarius make an intriguing pair due to their contrasting traits. While it's undeniable that opposites can attract in many scenarios, this particular combination might stir up difficulties if both parties don't exercise ample understanding and patience. People under the Cancer Zodiac are typically nurturing, intuitive, and loyal. They are known to highly value family ties and close personal relationships. 
they tend to wear their hearts on their sleeves, easily affected by emotions and deeply invested in every area of their personal lives. On the downside, this emotional depth can lead to mood swings and occasional bouts of possessiveness or clinginess. Comparatively, Aquarians are famously independent and rational. They are free spirits with innovative visions who thrive in intellectually stimulating environments. They are communicative, forward-thinking, and passionate about social causes. Aquarians are not as emotionally driven as Cancers, and may often appear detached or aloof, which is something that Cancers might find disconcerting. When these two signs come together, a clash of expectations often ensues. The Cancers' need for emotional depth and constant reassurance might lead them to feel neglected or misunderstood by the more autonomous Aquarian. In contrast, an Aquarian's demand for independence and space might seem like indifference to the sentiment-oriented Cancer. Disparities in their communication styles, emotional needs, and approach to relationships can potentially deepen the rift. Therefore, a romantic relationship between Cancer and Aquarius necessitates an open dialogue and willingness to understand each other's perspectives. This coupling could be achieved successfully with considerable mutual respect for each other's unique traits. It's important to remember, though, that horoscope signs alone don't determine compatibility. Individual personality traits and shared values also play significant roles. But based on astrological traits, it's clear why some people might advise Cancers and Aquarians to steer clear of romantic involvements. Number 4. Leo and Virgo Moving on to our fourth pairing, we arrive at the intriguing and complex personalities found in the zodiac signs of Leo and Virgo. These two coming together in a meaningful relationship can be quite challenging, largely due to their diametrically opposed natures and dispositions. Here, we have a fire sign, Leo, paired with an earth sign, Virgo, which, in itself, creates a gap that's hard to bridge. Leo, with their vibrant and flamboyant personality, is a powerhouse of energy who loves to shine in the spotlight. They have a natural charisma that draws people in, and they thrive on admiration and compliments, standing out in a crowd being their comfort zone. They are also known for their big hearts and generosity, but can sometimes come across as egoistic and overly dramatic. On the other end of the spectrum is Virgo, a sign known for its grounded nature, practical outlook, and meticulous approach to life. Virgos often possess a level of detail-oriented perfectionism that can be hard for most to understand. They are introverts at heart, who value their peace, and prefer quiet, organized spaces. In their view, flashiness is unnecessary, which starkly contrasts with the Leo's need for attention and recognition. When it comes to romantic relationships, these disparities can be quite the challenge to overcome. Leo's need for constant admiration and Virgo's reserved and observant nature can make for a frustrating interaction, where both parties might feel misunderstood or unappreciated. Virgo's tendency to critique and analyze can hurt Leo's pride, while Leo's dramatic disposition might be overwhelming for Virgo, who prefers a calm and predictable environment. Nevertheless, should they decide to work things out, there is always room for understanding and acceptance. Mutual respect and effort from both parties can create unique relationships in which they can learn and grow from each other's strengths and weaknesses. However, it's clear that it will be a challenging journey with many trials. This pairing needs careful navigation and plenty of patience. It's definitely not for those who prefer easy and straightforward relationships. Number 5. Pisces and Sagittarius For anyone dabbling in the field of astrology, there has always been particular interest in the compatibility of different zodiac signs and how their unique traits either harmonize or clash with each other. Pisces and Sagittarius are one such pairing that often sparks intriguing discussions. Pisces individuals are known for their sensitivity, empathy, and tendency to dream. They have a deep emotional reservoir and can often end up wearing their hearts on their sleeves. Pisceans are also naturally intuitive, highly imaginative, and possess a love for the arts and beauty. They are in love with love itself, having a penchant for all things romantic and dreamy. On the other hand, Sagittarians are adventurers. They are seekers of knowledge and truth, always looking to expand their horizons. Known to be free-spirited and spontaneous, 
They love exploring the world with their unquenchable thirst for learning and adventure. Sagittarius individuals are driven by their passion for freedom, and they're not afraid to take risks. The difference between these two signs can make a relationship quite challenging. Pisces, being the more sensitive of the two, may not fully understand the Sagittarians' sometimes brash openness or their constant need for independence. The Pisces can feel neglected as the Sagittarius pursues their next adventure. From the Sagittarians' perspective, they may find the Piscean's emotive nature too overwhelming and confusing. The carefree, independent spirit of Sagittarius might struggle to provide the emotional comfort that a Pisces often requires in a relationship. Over time, the Piscean's deep emotional needs can come across as clingy to the freedom-loving Sagittarius. Moreover, Sagittarians are known for their bluntness, which can unintentionally hurt the sensitive souls of Pisces. Such instances may lead to misunderstandings and emotional ups and downs. Overall, while these two signs can certainly find common ground and enjoy a fruitful relationship with mutual understanding and compromise, their fundamental differences pose a significant challenge. After all, they say opposites attract, but sometimes they might just repel. We've explored some pretty tricky zodiac pairings today. Remember though, love isn't all in the stars. It's within everyone's power to build a happy, harmonious relationship despite the signs. If you found this enlightening, remember to hit like and subscribe to our channel for more insights into astrology and compatibility. Thank you for joining us, and we can't wait to see you again in the next video.